Fans, welcome back to Comic Frontline and fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do that all important comic book review so you, the fans, can make a decision what comic books to buy. And today, fans, on Frontline, we are continuing our DC Rebirth coverage, and I am going to be talking about DC Universe's Rebirth Detective Comics issue number 934. Can you believe it? We're back to that legacy numbering. I think that is completely awesome. And uh, I think a lot of people are highly anticipating uh, this cast of characters working together here. I mean, you have Tim Drake, uh, you know, Red Robin, you have Batman, you have Batwoman, and you have Clayface, you have Spoiler. I mean, you, you have it all here. And so I bet people just can't wait to get this particular issue in their hands. The book is written by James Tinian IV. And the artwork is done by Eddie Barrows. The artwork is absolutely gorgeous. What you see on the outside is what you get on the inside as well. Um, some of the some of the characters that are in this book are just drawn awesome. Especially Batman himself. He's very dark. He's you know mysterious the way Batman Batman should be. Uh, we get Batwoman in here who looks gorgeous. Uh, love the red and black. And fans that haven't seen her in a while are probably really happy to see her again as well. Um, just an overall great looking book uh, to look at and uh, I, I couldn't be happier with the artwork. So let's talk about the story and should you pick this one up this particular week. Alright, so first things first is in this issue we wind up seeing uh, Gotham City. It's two days ago. And uh, in the issue we wind up seeing Azrael who uh, winds up getting attacked by a mysterious uh, mysterious character in here and uh, so what happens is Batman comes and tries to save the day uh, but in the issue we wind up finding out that there's these drones that are watching Batman and all of the people that he is affiliated with and so we as the issue continues we wind up getting to see uh, some of the other cast of characters and it goes right to Batwoman in here and throughout this book you wind up getting to see you know a little tidbits of the particular characters in case you haven't read DC comics before or haven't read certain characters in a while kind of just like Batwoman and uh, you get to see her talking with her father and how her father is trying to persuade her you know not to do the things that she's doing anymore and of course yes you get to see her continue to be watched by another one of these drones and uh, Batman goes to talk to Batwoman and they wind up talking with each other Bruce and Kate and uh, how he has this mission for her and he wants everybody um, he wants everybody to uh, to come together to be on his uh, particular team and so after some convincing Kate agrees to the whole situation and what I love about this book is I love the dialogue in this book how he's talking and again he's introducing the characters uh, in case you haven't seen him in a long time first one goes to um, uh, to spoiler which is Stephanie Brown uh, the next one goes to uh, Red Robin which is uh, Tim Drake in case you haven't seen him in a while and then uh, the the one that I really appreciated the most uh, was actually uh, Clayface in the book. I thought that was really well done in here how he goes to an actual movie theater and he wants to watch a movie of himself when he was an actor and he was considered for maybe a possible act Oscar and you really got to see his story uh, him telling his own story to Batman and I thought that was really nice and you kind of felt bad for Clayface there and so Batman is giving him a chance to be on this uh, particular team and uh, at the end you wind up seeing the bat signal and uh, the rest of the team being being together at the end which I thought was really cool and at the end you get to see the mis mystery characters head from beyond and then you get to see all his soldiers so um, I thought it was a really good setup 
uh, for Detective Comics. And right away, you can kind of tell that this is, you know, what Batman really is. He's trying to figure out things. His wheels are turning. He's being that detective that you, we all know and love him for. And uh, I, I love how he's gathering other members of the family uh, to work with him. Now, one of the issues that I thought that was interesting was that Kate made it a thing to tell Bruce saying, hey, you got to make sure we're on the same page. She's like, I'm not one of your pupils. She's like, we're partners in this. So if you need to tell me something, you got to tell me something. So you can see that there's kind of trust issues there. And that was kind of what happened in the New 52 as well. Uh, you know, Bruce kind of kept things to himself here. So is he going to kind of take a new leaf and just sit there and a uh, new lease on life and sit there and just, uh, you know, keep things to herself or he is going to be completely a true partner uh, to Kate. So uh, I thought this was a wonderfully told book. Like I said, beautiful setup here, beautiful artwork. Can't wait to read this series going forward. Um, it's going to be completely awesome to tell you the truth. So guys in the comments below, tell me what you thought of DC Rebirth Detective Comics issue 934. I'm going to give this one probably a 4.75 out of 5 stars. Really enjoyed it. I'm really loving what DC is doing with DC Rebirth at this time. And guys, keep the discussion going in the comments below and tell me what you thought of this book, who your favorite character is, who you're most looking forward to reading in this book. And guys, as always, thank you for watching Comic Frontline. And until the next comic book review, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. Take care, guys. See you soon.